Hi everyone, it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today it is a makeup video. I received my Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Enhancing Tint a couple of days ago. So I will be reviewing and demoing this for you guys today. This just dropped on the market. There are 19 shades. There are neutral and uh, golden shades and it is supposed to be skincare and a skin tint. As soon as I got an email about this, I did order it because I did like the ingredients in this product and thought this would be awesome for summer. Before I continue, for those who are visiting for the first time, do remember to subscribe. I would love to have you as a subscriber on my channel. And to my returning subscribers, I would like to say thank you for coming again and again. And to everyone, please do not forget to give me a like and do send me some comments or whatever questions you may have about this product. This is white, so it is not going to focus the packaging. This is what it looks like. It is the normal uh, Lisa Eldridge packaging. It looks a bit, I mean, this is all plastic, but it is almost the same type of uh, oval design as the foundation. And on here, it just has the name of the product. As I said, there are 19 shades. On the Lisa Eldridge website, it does say to give your foundation shade and the website will recommend a skin tint uh, shade. This is sort of like, it's not a pump, but it's a squeeze tube. I have already worn this for two days. So this is the reason why there is quite a bit of product on here. Once again, this is a T12 and this has neutral golden undertones. In the Lisa Eldridge foundation, I do take shade uh, 24. I am just gonna <laughs> close this off because I'm afraid it's going to run if I just lay it down. This is quite a runny product, so I have to be careful. I am going to apply this in the manner stated on the Lisa Eldridge website. She said two drops and apply it on the cheek and chin area. These two drops. This is what this shade looks like on my skin. It does say on the website to apply this with the hands or with a dense kabuki brush. I am using my Gila kabuki brush. I will apply this side with the kabuki brush and I will apply the other side with my hands. I did not do any kind of color correcting. I just wanted you guys to see what the recommended dosage looks like on my skin. I do have some blemishes in this area, so uh, we can discuss this later. This I did with the brush and I will just go ahead and apply this side with my hands. When applied with the hands, because this is a thin product, uh, there is a bit more coverage. This is what two drops of the Seamless Skin Enhancing Tint from Lisa Eldridge looks like on my skin. This side, as we said, I did this with my hands and this side with the dense kabuki brush. Guys, I have worn this for two days already and I do not like to apply this with my hands because it does feel a bit more oily. I do have oily skin, so I prefer applying this with 
the brush. This feels very smooth and very light on the skin. It does have a very nice blurring effect. It does not feel like I am wearing anything on my skin, any product. This uh, Simless Skin Enhancing Tint, it does have some coverage, but just with these two drops around the mouth area, I can see still uh, some of my blemishes. Being that I have worn this, like I said already, for two days, I know that I do need more product and I am just doing this uh, spot treatment that Lisa Eldridge does also talk about on her website just so I can cover a bit more of these blemishes on my skin especially on the chin and around the mouth area and also here i did this for the last two days there was no build up there was no issue and i did wear this you know under the eye area because it is supposed to be skincare so I'm just dotting this along where I need it. The brush applies this product seamlessly. I did try it once with my BK Beauty brush and the brush just sucked up all of the tint. So a dense brush does make sense with this one. This product, it says it is 75% skincare and it contains prickly pear seed oil and this is for strengthening and smoothing and it contains sunflower oil for plumping and for hydrating and squalene for hydrating it also contains coco caprilat which is a lightweight naturally derived emollient which helps to soften and hydrate the skin guys this little tube it does get a bit uh messy and i'm always careful how and where i lay it down preferably i do tend to close it back this is the foundation shade my foundation shade number 24 and this it is the seamless skin enhancing tint the first time i applied this when i got it and i applied it to my face i thought i had the wrong shade because it was so yellow however after it is rubbed into the skin and after about a minute or so not even a minute it um it just melts into the skin and by looking at the lisa eldridge website there are 19 shades but for example this t12 it is for four foundation shades do check the website for a shade match i mean this is a skin tint so matching is a bit different than it is for a foundation i have worn this for two full days this uh, skin tint and i do love this product my skin pretty much remained you can say seamless i did not notice this creeping into any of my fine lines and also um i did not have to powder much during the day only my nose lately my nose has been so oily but everything else really looked wonderful. This is really a nice product and worth checking out. It is costing $49 and 45 euros on the Lisa Eldridge website. This is my uh, Estee Lauder bronzer. I do love this bronzer very much. I do hope Lisa Eldridge does come out with bronzer soon. I can imagine it would be awesome. This is it for this one. This is almost, you can say, my normal work look. I am just wearing bronzer, a little bit of blush, and that's it. 
This product application is quite quick, especially with a kabuki brush. Let me know if you guys plan on picking this up or if you have this already. Take care and hope to see you again soon. Ciao!